what's up my lovely leos out there and welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is tanya michelle and i am a leo rising at your service here to bring you the mother up in month ahead horoscope so i hope you're ready because november is a month okay full of revelations exciting revelations realizations and some things that i think will push you forward if you're willing to do a little bit of zooming out, but also a little bit of digging and trusting in your intuition. If you're able to take a little bit of time to really <laughs> enjoy yourself and take a step back from the work, the work <laughs> that you've been doing and really just see and get in touch with yourself and see where you're at and what it is that you really want. I think that can bring a lot of major realizations this month for Leos, especially Leo Risings. As always, my readings are more for rising signs. It is a blend of astrology and tarot and the astrology is basically for your rising sign. But you may find some messages in here that relate to your sun or moon sign as well. So just make sure to watch all your signs just to be sure because I do do tarot too and that's really based on whatever moon, sun, rising for this particular sign. So Leo, what I see here is that November is a month that is really kind of taking your ass and pulling you out of the weeds in some way. It is pulling you out of old patterns, old conditioning, old shit that is no longer working for you. While at the same time, you could be feeling very nostalgic, you could be in the mood to kind of reminisce and go back and look at the past. And it's it, it really is a month that is really reflecting on the past, how you got to where you are now, family, your home. There could be a lot coming up in terms of your home, your family. It could be a time of going into your memories and going into your childhood. You know, it could be a time where you know, your parents are a little bit more prevalent this month or there's something going on in terms of the family or the home life. And really, Leo, though, I really see you being a sign, especially for Leo Risings, that is kind of like flying past a lot of the drama, even though this is a really deep part of your chart for some reason intuitively and as a Leo Rising myself, uh, things may be crazy around you, but with you, you may be good. You know what I mean? Like, it, like personally yourself, like, yeah, you may have some shit coming up, but for the most part, you may be good. It just may be like your family is doing crazy shit or your relationship is doing crazy shit or your career is doing crazy shit. But like personally, you within yourself may be good. Okay. Maybe not all of you, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. It's like, you're kind of somehow flying past all of the bullshit. You're really not putting up with it this month. You're like, look, I learned my lesson in Libra season, baby. And I learned who to be around, who not to be around, what environments I want to be a part of, what environments I don't want to be a part of, who to trust, who not to trust. So we're not playing those games these months. Anyways, what I kind of see here in your cards, Leo, we start off with the bone collector and this is really about past conditioning and kind of like your foundation, right? Which makes a lot of sense. Fourth house, you know, we have Scorpio season, it's your fourth house. So a lot coming up from the roots, the foundation, the family, the home life, the living situation, the past patterns, the past conditioning, you know what I mean? And you're really breaking free of that because we have the card coming apart here, which I think is a really good card to come after this. We are coming apart from old foundational systems like programming that we've just been doing just because that are no longer getting us where we want to get to. It's like actually putting us in situations that feel stagnant or whatever. And so I feel like Leo's, a lot of you guys could be feeling really more authentic to yourself than you have in a while because of this. I feel like it's, you're really kind of pulling away from old habits, old patterns, old dilemmas, old conditioning, old situations. And you're going through a lot of changes regarding those things. And with Mars in your fourth house, you're stepping it up a notch in terms of how you deal with shit personally, on a personal level, in your personal life, behind closed doors. So with the people that you're closest to, your family, who you live with, 
you know, whatever. You are stepping it up a notch. You're like, look, I'm not taking shit anymore. You can't walk all over me anymore. We're not going to go back and forth with, you know, these games or these, you know, this drama. Like, this is who I am and take it or leave it, right? And so I feel like in the month of November, you could be actually distancing yourself from possibly some family members or some people that you were once close to. You could be going through somewhat of a, like closure period in a lot of ways there could be a lot of past closure coming for you this month now we also have flying and wishing well and both of these cards deal with in some ways having a new exciting perspective the flying card is zooming out and seeing things from a broad view and so it's like you are finally getting an opportunity to see things as they really are instead of how you thought they were in a lot of ways and then the wishing well here is about desire and inspiration and so i feel like with flying this more deals with you know the home and family stuff and the past foundational roots stuff to where you're like okay like i see the whole bigger picture now and i also feel like you're thinking a lot about your future in terms of where it is that you want to go where it is that you're going in life what it is that you want to do in your life it's like you're letting go of the past so you can start thinking about the future. You're securing a foundation so you can really be prepared for what you want to do next, what you're going to build on top of that foundation. And so that's what I'm seeing so far. And then we have stuck in the mud, which I think is like you have this moment of clarity, you have this new inspiration that comes in but then you start kind of feeling like well i don't know how to move forward with that i don't know if i'm capable of that i don't know if i have what it takes to do that basically and so you may start feeling a little bit slowed down mid-month to end month it's like you start off the month very very strong because we have the workaholic card here you're working hard on something likely trying to complete something or you could be going through some kind of completion or ending period for some of you, it could be that you are, like for some of you, maybe there, you know, maybe there's some kind of grief going on with a family member, like either from the past or from recently. I'm not getting that for a lot of you though. I'm just getting that for maybe a few of you that are watching this. There could be something you're grieving over. Let me know if that may be you down below. And um, if so, hang in there, okay? It gets better, I promise. Like I've, I've grieved over, a lot of really really close people to me so i get it and it will get better and just feel it out you know so anyways but we have stuck in the mud and so i feel like mid month to maybe like towards the end of the month you may start feeling a little bit slowed down like damn i was on a roll i was working my ass off now what now what is moonlight right which is all about trusting in your feelings and your intuition and so Allow yourself to slow down, right? Allow the slowdown to happen. If you start feeling stuck or if you start feeling a little bit stagnant, just, you know, allow it to happen. Enjoy the moment, right? Like use that moment to rest up, to catch your breath from all of the work that you've been doing, all of the motivation that you've had, like in the beginning of the month and try to, you know, take some time and do some fourth house shit, hang out at home, be comfortable, watch some tv you know what i mean hang out with your pets hang out with your family like do like mushy fourth house stuff basically right reminisce on the past look through old photo albums you know like think about how you got to where you got like, and just like you know chillax a little bit like don't freak out about it you're gonna get through it it's gonna dissipate so just let it be what it is right so moving on to your oracle cards like i said you have or your other oracle cards you have workaholic incompletion. And so you've been really, really working hard on something to complete something, or you've been really like working hard and there's a completion <laughs> that's unrelated, one of the two, right? But there is some kind of completion here and you've been really, really inspired to start doing something with your career. There's been a lot of careers, ups and downs and changes for Leo Risings over the last couple of years with Uranus and Taurus in our 10th house. And so we've been forced to, 
get out of our comfort zone, kind of modernize the way that we're doing things, you know what I mean? Maybe using technology, the internet, social media for our career. Um, we've also been really wanting to be more independent regarding career and, you know, have our own sense of freedom regarding career. And we have certain goals and visions in mind, but it can really feel like we're constantly on this push pull where it's like, oh, I'm finally getting there. And then it's like, oh, I just went backwards, right? And so that's normal. I've been feeling that too as a Leo rising. So if you're feeling that, it's completely normal. But anyways, and then we have faith, which and growth, which does tell me that having faith in the process, this completion, um, or this moment of feeling stuck like mid month will really help you to, it would really help you to kind of have some faith, you know, to allow the moment to teach you so you can grow from it. Like I was kind of saying before. So then we have perseverance. Once again, persevering, you're gonna get through it. You're gonna be fine. Things are gonna start dissipating, right? And then we have miracle in creation. So this is like I was saying, you know, once we start getting into that fifth house area of Sag, of creativity, passion, adventure, love, romance, sexuality, you know, children, all of that, like that's when things are gonna really start kicking off and we're gonna really be motivated to create we're gonna be motivated to do things that we love to do to have fun to find pleasure to do things that bring us joy and i think that you're gonna get some kind of really awesome insight or inspiration this month leo that is going to lead to certain revelations about your career and what it is that you want to do especially towards the end of the month with that taurus lunar eclipse happening in the ninth or not in the ninth house <laughs> on the 19th on in the uh 10th house for us and so it could feel like a miraculous moment of like oh my gosh like i finally get it i finally i finally got the answer that i've been like feeling stuck about or i finally got this moment of clarity on how to move forward here so now, I also see this in your cards as well because we start off with the Eight of Cups and the Star. And this is very telling in terms of, you know, there's certain wishes, certain dreams, certain goals that we have, certain things that we aspire to, right? But it can feel like it's a constant push and pull, like I was saying. And so for some of you, you could be looking at some kind of newfound inspiration, newfound like aspiration, like something new that you wanna do, something new that you're looking forward to. And for some of you, you could be walking away from something. But I also see that for some of you, this is very healing energy. It's like you're leaving certain emotional attachments behind and starting to look towards the future and what's coming rather than the past. So then we have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, which is badass, Leo. So this is like really awesome opportunities coming with your work for a lot of you. Opportunities coming with creation, passion, drive. Like a lot of you are going to have really stable and secure opportunities coming in in the very near future. Um, it's also really showing you what it is that you want to create in terms of stability and security for yourself that actually you're very passionate about. Like some of you could be wanting to build a house. Some of you could be wanting to move. Some of you could be wanting to create a business, you know, but this is, there's going to be an opportunity coming up very soon to take that first step. It may not be like, boom, it's done. You know, it's just that first step. Then we have, uh, wow, so the Prince of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Once again, you know, taking that first step, the Prince of Pentacles, really making sure that you are persevering, once again, you know, doing the responsible thing and getting things done in a slow and steady way and not super fast paced. Um, but also letting your intuition guide you, Queen of Cups letting your intuition show you how to move forward instead of allowing yourself to get stuck because your mind won't come up with something, right? And so that is basically what I'm seeing here for you, Leo, for the month of uh, November. Hopefully this resonated. Definitely let me know down below if these messages end up coming true and if this ends up resonating. So astrologically speaking, right, we have a lot going on in terms of your relationships 
your future goals, career, public image, reputation, etc., and home, family, living situation, property, you know, your foundation, your roots. And so these three areas of life could really be in tension this month as Mars and Saturn are starting to square from Scorpio and Aquarius. And then that is also going to involve Uranus as well and Taurus in your 10th. And so this could be a really intense time where it's like, are you going to basically follow through on things that you actually want to do? And it could also be an intense time where it could start to feel like certain relationships in your life are becoming either stagnant, overly kind of strict or critical, um, heavy, you know, certain relationship situations could start feeling very heavy, or there could be certain obligations, restrictions, or commitments regarding relationships that are starting to feel overwhelming or there's something that needs more of your attention in the home and family and so that's kind of where your energy is going and not to the relationship so there could be some distance that starts forming so you do want to be aware of these things this month leo uh, with this fixed sign t-square happening and then also the uranian energy in the 10th is really bringing up this exciting liberating independent uh, insight, clarity, and revelations into the career sector. And so there could be a lot of unpredictability going on with the career at the moment, but you could also, this could also really put you in a position to where you're feeling extremely motivated, excited, and where you're wanting to overcome some kind of obstacle or challenge, where you're really wanting to put yourself out there in a very like exciting, bold way. So those are some other things that you could notice with that. So other than that, 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 those are basically the themes of this monthly. I'm a little bit late to this, so excuse that. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please, if you could do me a favor and like this video and comment down below and let me know if this reading resonated for you. I'd love to know as always. And I will see you guys in my other videos.